How does the reading brain work? Reading is a complex process. It requires different areas of the brain to be activated in a coordinated and synchronized way, just like an orchestra, to maximize our ability to decode written text. The temporal lobe located towards the lower back of the brain is the area of the brain responsible for discriminating speech sounds. Misperception of the smallest part of speech, a phoneme, can completely change the meaning of a word or sentence. Listen to fair and ver in the words fan and van. The consonant part of these syllables is heard for only a fraction of a second at the onset of the words. But misperception of this swift sound can have huge implications when listening to instructions and information. Children who have problems differentiating speech sounds at the phonemic level will struggle with phonological awareness and with decoding words. The frontal lobe, located at the front of the brain with the left and right half, is involved in many functions such as movement, decision making, problem solving, planning and memory. The left half is language related and is responsible for speech production, reading fluency, grammatical usage and comprehension of grammar. Children with grammatical comprehension problems also have difficulty with prefixes, suffixes and complex grammatical sentences. The angular gyrus situated at the core of the brain near the back and top side of the temporal lobe functions as a reading integrator. It is the hub that helps us convert visual input to audio output. If this part of the brain is not well developed, the child may not be able to relate the letters S-A-T to the word set even though he might have used that word many times. These brain areas do not work in isolation. They act as parts of the brain's network. When you strengthen one area, it improves the entire network. Conversely, if you do not use an area, it weakens and falls into disrepair, just like an abandoned building. <laughs>